Hello and welcome to Career Quest. Today I've got Zachary Adam. He is the branch manager and loan officer over at Go Prime Mortgage here in Asheville. Zachary, thanks for coming in and talking to us thanks, um, and sharing with our audience. I think this is going to be a really uh, great conversation because it's about the financial world. And I've always felt like that's something I wish I had known more about a lot younger. For sure. Um, I wish... I had taken a class <laughs> right. somewhere early on in my in my life that that told me how to do my taxes or you know how to approach a bank and how to prepare for buying a home all those yeah. things. So I'm really uh, happy you're in here to talk to us a little bit about that. But what I want to start off with is just a little bit hearing a little bit about you and how you got into your career and what uh, you know what made you think you know this is going to be a right fit for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, thanks, Jody. It's great to be here. Mm-hmm. Um, well, career-wise, I just turned 18. So I started out in the business in 2005. Mm-hmm. And um, a little bit of the background there was I actually bought my first house prior to even considering real estate. Mm-hmm. And it was such an experience, not a great one, mm-hmm. um, buying your first home at 24. And I was like, you know what? I can do this. I can do this better. And um, so I started exploring, you know, Mm -hmm. and uh, at the time I'd already graduated from college. So undergraduate degree um, in the social sciences. But um, I went, started taking some classes at one of our local community colleges Okay, and was really looking at both sides of real estate. You can look at the finance side as loan officer, mortgage banker, or you can be on the realtor side. Mm -hmm. And I knew quickly I wanted my clients to be my primary focus Mm -hmm. versus, you know, with agents, of course, clients are important, but they're primarily focus on the real estate stock gotcha. on the house itself. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I studied real estate for about a year and uh, worked on getting my license in uh, the financial side of, uh, of the mortgage business and then really started looking at what types of uh, sections. So there's three sections of this you know, industry. So you can be a mortgage banker where you basically work in the retail side okay. of a bank and you know primarily do loans. Mm -hmm. Um, You can be on the wholesale side, which makes you a broker. So you're kind of independent. You work with multiple, you know, real estate investors. Mm -hmm. Or like we are now, you can be on the correspondent side. So we're an actual lender. Most of our operations are in-house. We fund our transactions on our own warehouse lines. And so I did multiple interviews coming in after, you know, making connections through my real estate teacher at the community college, you know, even like when interviewed with one of his uh, contacts, uh, talked to a mortgage b- a banker, and um, and then interviewed another broker. And so from mm-hmm. there, I kind of distilled it down and decided to uh, start my career in mortgage banking. So I worked for a retail bank for gotcha. the first eight years. Uh-huh. And, you know, I think it has to do with um, training, you know, and I think mm-hmm. that was like a primary focus. Once you get licensed, yes, you have to take right. an exam. Uh, depending on you know what channel of the business you are, you have different licensure requirements. Okay. So actually, technically, you can work for you know a depository institution and not have an individual license. Mm-hmm. Whereas for us as a lender, you have to be individually licensed for every mm-hmm. state. Mm-hmm. Um, but at the federal level, you don't working mm-hmm. for a bank. Yeah. So, so you're already throwing a few words out there that are there might maybe going a little over my head, and I, and I hate that. I, I wish I knew a, a lot more about um, the financial world. Um, but tell me, it sounded like you mentioned community college, but I didn't hear like that. This requires a ton of education. Did you, you know, just go s- straight into getting your license right after community college, or tell me about your educational path? Yeah, um, you can study and literally take the exam within two weeks. Really? But I chose, um, I really wanted to make the right career choice. So Mm -hmm. I chose classes on both sides of real estate to determine, you know, what exactly did I like? And I really did resonate with the sort of financial side. Mm -hmm. And so I took a year worth of community real estate classes. Okay. Um, And it's not necessarily like a diploma or anything like that, but I felt like that was a really good set up for yeah. being able to then confidently walk into an employer and demonstrate you have a little bit more experience. But at the same time, I was a newbie, I was young and walking into the bank, you know, you had to like kind of convince this particular manager mm-hmm. that, 
you know, you had these attributes. Mm -hmm. And it's a very dynamic business. Okay. Um, and, you know, sales, you know, it's interesting when you look at on the on the world scale, um, sales can be the highest gross earners mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. They can also be the lowest mm -hmm. <laughs> gross right. earners. Um, but yeah, so that really helped prepare me for the licensure. Mm -hmm. And then just doing a lot of that field research, I really mm -hmm. recommend, you know, folks talking to people in the profession, kind of like what you guys mm -hmm. got going on mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. um, and that really helped guide me to particular areas of the business. Okay, so I'm hearing um, you can kind of get into this quickly with uh, kind of a minimal amount of education, but not to say that you don't have to really know what you're doing. Um, just th I'm hearing that you can go a fast paced route, or you could probably go and take tons of classes and, and get degrees in finance. Um, but that's really interesting that there's different uh, avenues in. I also heard uh, sales and attributes. So I want to ask a little bit more mm -hmm. about that. What are some attributes that make somebody successful in this kind of field? Yeah, it's very much of a people business. Mm -hmm. It's very much of a relationship business. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think communication is really important. So mm -hmm. if you have good communication skills, like verbal communication skills, mm -hmm. interpersonal skills, mm -hmm. that will aid a lot. If you're a good writer, because a lot of your correspondence, how you address, you know, mm -hmm. clients, your referral partners, how you set up a file so that you present it to an underwriter mm -hmm. has to do with telling a story. Mm -hmm. um, and so being able to, you know, articulate and write is mm -hmm. really important too. Mm -hmm. um, you have to have great attention to detail. Mm -hmm. um, you have to be optimistic because sometimes the markets do things that are challenging. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of external factors so in my career path, I've always been really, uh, you know, into personal development mm -hmm. and mindset. Mm -hmm. And I think that can really add to a successful salesperson because you have all of your potential. Mm -hmm. And the first thing my manager told me when I came in and started working at the bank was, you are your own VIP. Mm -hmm. And so you can really approach it like a business and build out a team. Um, mm -hmm. After spending eight years in the in the mortgage banking side, I wanted more options. Mm -hmm. And so as an independent mortgage company, we have say 12 to 15 different banks that we mm -hmm. work with. Mm -hmm. And I feel like from that standpoint, you have to be able to research, you have to know policy, you have to know procedure, you have to understand basic economics. Mm -hmm. um, and then you, it goes into the coachability piece, you know, like you coach your clients, you're a mm -hmm. trusted advisor and you want to demonstrate through your studies. And I really do believe that you can learn on the job. Yeah. You know, I, I very much did. And working for a bank up front was great because they had a great training program. Mm -hmm. They had a mentorship program. Mm -hmm. So they like basically connected me with a senior loan officer just to help structure your transaction. So mm -hmm. every transaction, every you know, person's financial like makeup is different. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you have to be able to coach your clients into mm -hmm. paying your bills on time, mm -hmm. understanding what how to use credit, you know, mm -hmm. how does credit impact the ability for a future lender mm -hmm. to say, to take a risk on you to say, yes, like we will lend you this money and collateralize it with this asset and home mm -hmm. so that you can move in. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of attention to to detail around how to prepare your clients to be successful homeowners. Mm -hmm. And I think that brings us to like, what is our financial literacy? What is our education access? Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, uh, you know, yeah. we were just ch chatting about that before. I wonder, interview, yeah. So. yeah. I, I'm, I'm hearing you, um, you know, when I think of finance, I think numbers, I think spreadsheets, I think all that kind of stuff. But I'm hearing people, I'm hearing a lot of people business in, in here that you have to be able to, if you want to get into um, the mortgage uh, um, sector or, you know, selling people homes or anything like that, it really becomes a people business. Very much. Yeah. Knowing the numbers is important, mm -hmm. of course. People will ask you, particularly now when you have volatility in the market where um, mortgage rates the way that mortgage rates are determined are through the 10-year yield, the treasury bond. Mm -hmm. And so just like the stock market, the bond market is very volatile. It's impacted by what the feds do. It's impacted by global economics. Mm -hmm. It's so many external factors impact it. But ultimately, when you're working with, a, say, a first-time home buyer, an investor, 
there's some really simple primary focuses. Mm -hmm. What's the cost of the money? What's my interest rate? Mm -hmm. What's my payment? Mm -hmm. And what are the what are the terms? Mm -hmm. And so being able to simplify maybe what feels like a convoluted mm -hmm. way of like, how do I own a home and how do I finance it? And mm -hmm. if you start Googling or looking online, there's a lot of information out there, which mm -hmm. can be helpful. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we very much have a business based on education. Mm -hmm. I really do believe in empowering people to make decisions. And I also really believe wholeheartedly that housing is a right, mm -hmm. you know? And so that financial literacy, helping people understand, you know, how to develop credit, how to pay your bills on time, how to set up a budget, how to save, all of those can really help contribute to being a successful homeowner mm -hmm. and a successful mortgage advisor. You Great. Know? Well, um, you said a whole lot that I want to unpack a little sure. bit more. Um, so let's continue this conversation. Thank you for coming in. Uh, yeah. This has been a great first uh, introduction to the world of finance. Awesome. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks,